Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in modern data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data demo regarding user's third transaction using Postgres SQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Uber interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, assume that you are given a table below on Uber transactions made by users. Write a query to obtain the third transaction of every user. Output the user ID, spend and transaction date. So transactions table has three different columns, user ID, spend and transaction date, which is a timestamp. Okay, so timestamp basically means date as well as time up to seconds, right? So if you look at the example, so if you look at, you know, so for user ID triple one, right? What is the third transaction? So 8th of January, 10th of January and 5th of February. So obviously the third transaction is this for one to one, there's only one transaction. So there cannot be any third transaction, 145, only one transaction. So in the output, you, you are only going to have triple one, 8960 and this timestamp, right? And that is what we have. So basically, if you think about it here, what we need to do is we need to, you know, from this table called transactions, we should partition by the user ID and then arrange by transaction date and rank their transactions as one, two, three, four, etc., and save them in a common table expression. And wherever your ranking comes out to be three, you just output it, right? So what I'm saying is from this table called transactions, let's, you know, keep all the columns and then perform a ranking, right? Now, ranking can be done using three ways. As we have discussed in previous videos right you can use row number rank or dense rank now can you tell me why using any of the three will be working here or like there is no problem in that case and if instead of having like time uh, as hour minute and second if it would have been only hour and minute right then like would can you use row number rank and dense rank to perform that ranking the answer lies that whether you are able to, you know, uh, within a given amount of time, are you able to repeat the transaction? So here, since we have the, you know, uh, hour, minute and, and uh, seconds, right? So it is very difficult for you. Let's say you are standing in a grocery store and you swipe your, your credit card, right? And like after a couple of seconds, it showed you that, hey, uh, your transaction has declined and you do the same transaction again. So obviously in that case, the, this part will change, right? So if you use row number rank or dense rank, the ranking will be different, right? However, if it was only, you know, hour and minute, then it would have like both those examples would have the same transaction date, right? So in that case, when there is a tie, then the rank, rank function and dense rank function performs differently, right? So here it is very difficult to, you know, swipe your card again within a second. So, but yeah, like, like just to be sure and just to make this uh, solution generalized, let's use the row number. But let me know if, you know, there is a problem with using rank or dense rank in the second case. Like, I think I gave the answer, but like, if you have any other opinion, let me know. So row number, right? And then what we need to do is since this is a window function, we need to write the over clause, right? And then for every user, we need to find out the different transactions, right? Rank one, two, three, four, etc. So we partition by, right? Partition by user ID, right? And then order by transaction date in ascending order, right? Because that is what it is going to have. Okay, this was the first transaction for this user, a second transaction, third transaction, fourth transaction, etc. Let's alias this as maybe trans number, transaction number, right? Uh, let me go ahead and run this, right? Let's see what we are having. So here, if you see, right? So for user ID triple one, you have transaction number one, two, three, right? Similarly, uh, for one to one, we have the same thing, one, one, four, five, two, thirty, two, sixty three, et cetera. So now once you have this, then what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression. So with CTE as, and then this entire thing goes into parentheses, right? And then from this common table expression, Let's keep only those rows where transaction number is equal to three because we want only the third transaction of the user and we don't we, and we need the three columns, right? So select, select the user ID, the spend column and the transaction 
date column okay and since we don't need to order this by anything or else right so let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so now we have the output let me go ahead and submit it so it passes all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it. So not a very difficult question. All we had to do was, you know, from this table called transactions date, we had to find for each of the users, which transaction is first, second, third, fourth, and we use row number. In this particular case, you can use row number rank or dense rank, right? But, you know, we also discussed about a scenario where it might be difficult to use, you know, a rank or dense rank and why that might be the case. And once you have the information, right, the the different transaction numbers and then you can only keep those rows where transaction number is equal to three and return the desired output right so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video